Hello, Randall Lloyd here. Welcome to episode 5 of Supersuit Tips and Tricks for the Genesis Supersuit. And uh, today I'm going to be talking about a, a bug on the suit. And, it, and it's a bug you may not have even realized that it was there. Um, but it is a matter of concern in some cases, so I thought I might show you this and how to work around it. Uh, the, the situation is that when the Supersuit presets were saved out and put into the main product, uh, there was a flaw in, in the program somehow that left out all of the shaping for this red hip area on the master control dial. And what we're talking about is if you go into the shaping tab here, just scoot this open a little bit, you go into the shaping tab and you have all these uh, control dials that allow you to shape the suit. If you go under hip, you'll see uh, at the top of each one of these uh, colored sections like you have over here, the top one is always a master dial. For example here if I move the master control for the hands you see everything on the hand moves. If I do it on the hip everything on the hip moves. It's the master dial. The problem is and I'm gonna move this all the way up as big as it'll go so we have this crazy uh, sumo diaper thing going on here. Um, <clears throat> the main problem is that when all of these DSAs were saved for, for the SuperSuit product um, there was no master hip control in the file somehow and you can get in there and look and see that it's missing. Uh, what that causes is that when you come in here to the shape presets uh, or even the complete presets um, there's a there's an issue where and I'm gonna click on this hero here Tech Knight as an example you see when I change these none of the hip uh, none of them change the hip back to the way it's supposed to be. None of these presets control that master control dial up here at the top. They are controlling these secondary dials, but not the master dial. So, how do we fix this? Well, let's go back to Tech Knight here, and let's change the shape, uh, let's change the surface of the suit uh, to something a little more easy to see, the shape. Alright. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to know what that originally was supposed to look like. Unless you've uh, seen the promo art, which um, I have over here, and I can show you the promo art real quick. <clears throat> There's the promo art, and back when he was called Armor Man. Anyway, as you see on the leg here, it's very smooth going all the way up. And so what you can do is you can uh, zoom in and you can adjust that master hip dial. This is the only one you should touch to fix it. If you dial that back down until it's very smooth, you see right around there, you can eyeball it. Um, or you can kind of see right about where we're at. We're right about at minus two and it's almost smooth. So my guess is that it's just a plain minus two and there you go. Very smooth and that's that's how it should be. That's how it should look. Now you won't be able to tell the way all of them were supposed to look because we didn't do promo art for everything but what I've done is I've created a spreadsheet for you right here and you can look at it here uh, real quick uh, or you can download it I'll put the link in the in the notes and all you have to do is set that master hip control right here hips to this number based on whatever size whatever character you have in and this would work for both the shaping presets and for the complete presets alright now what to do now that we fixed it. Well, you can save it for yourself so you don't have to do this every time. And the way you do that is you go into your content library <clears throat> and uh, you can click this little plus here or you can go up under File, Save As with the suit selected. And we're going to save as a shaping preset. And when you get in here to the shaping preset, um, you follow that all the way down and you've got your uh, shape presets by genre, superhero, now what I've done is I've created a fixes folder and you can uh, I've already done this for all of them as you can see but if you go into this new one you can select Tech Knight and call it Tech Knight Fix for example and hit save and you'll get this little pop-up and just click accept and uh, we'll set him back to normal let's uh, put him back and as you see We'll, we'll make those hips really big again. 
Now let's uh, go into our fixes folder and let's see if that Tech Knight fix worked. And as you can see, it worked really well. Now, um, I suggest if you want your, your super suit to work as good as it can, and uh, between now and when, when any update would come out that would fix this, you can take all of your presets and save them out into a fixes folder, and then you will speed things up considerably, particularly with some of the um, complete presets here. If I come in here and click on some of these, they take quite a long time to load. Uh, that's because the, these are DSA formats, because the DUF file wasn't yet available when the SuperSuit came out. And everything you're saving nowadays is a DUF file, and boy are they a lot quicker. And I can show you this by just double clicking on Tech Knight here. Now this is the, uh, the regular DSA, but I've already made a fix, so I'll come in here and uh, we'll pick one that I know takes a long time. Let me see here. Um, Nightwatch. Uh, nah. Let's do Ranger. Ranger takes quite a long time to load normally, but this is a a duff fix file. So let's see how long it takes. And I won't pause the video or speed it up. And there it goes. It was just that fast. And we can go back to Tech Knight. Now I happen to know that when the Super Suit is updated, all of these files will be converted to duff, and so all this will be done for you. But if you can't wait and you want it to be a little speedier, uh, you can do it yourself and and save yourself some time. Well, there you go. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you are enjoying all my videos, uh, please share them with your friends and hit like and uh, subscribe to my channel. And I can't wait to get back here with another tip or trick, so I'll see you next time.